I knew we had to have a big payoff, so it went from the naval yard and ended up on a bridge with an accident and him having to make a jump. So we just had to find the biggest, best bridge, you know, in Southern California and beg people to let us shut it down for a few days. Fortunately, they did or we wouldn't have had a payoff. We'd still be looking for a bridge. The Vincent Thomas Bridge had never been shut down. It's one of two ways into Long Beach. And when you shut it down, the people who live there get very pissed off. And so it was a hairy situation. There he is, there he is. Get out of the car, man! The big jump was done in a, in a, in a variety of different cuts. We did a lead-up version of Nick kind of stalled there, thinking of what he's going to do, contemplating then his approach to the ramp once he makes his decision to jump the accident scene. We cut from there to the actual loading truck and jumping a short distance off of that. It only goes about 50 feet or so, and it lands into a, a wall of cardboard boxes that they build about 10 feet high and 100 feet long to just catch the vehicle. Then we used a computer graphic design shot of the car for the long travel through the air, seeing the bridge, seeing the scope of the height of the bridge, all of that stuff. Whenever it was traveling over people, those were all CGI created automobiles because it was too dangerous to actually shoot separate pieces of a real launch car. Action, making the run to the ramp, and we've hit the ramp, we're airborne. We're we wanted to tie a couple of shots of Nick uh, into that sequence so that it wasn't just sheet metal, you know, flying through the air. And so what we did was we just took Nick and the vehicle, put a green screen behind him, and he just sort of acted it out as I talked him through it. What, huh? So we had Nick on the ground reacting as if he were airborne, and then plates were shot on the bridge of cameras moving past the girders, etc., to simulate what was behind him when he was airborne. And where the green screen canvas was, Secret Lab replaced that with a background plate in post-production. And so it appears that the, you know, the background's moving behind him and he's actually airborne. The landing is real. That's actually a stunt driver taking off of an extended ramp and landing from a 25-foot height or so. They put incredibly strong shocks in there, and he actually does the landing. That's real. Dominic Senna is a real artist. He's a visual artist. Uh, he's brilliant at what he does. And he's got a very, very exciting car chase. On the whole, I'm pretty happy with the chase. I wanted to give the audience a ride. You know, I wanted them to be behind the wheel. I wanted them to sort of experience it as Nick was experiencing it, which I think works pretty well. I think it's fun, and I think it's a nice payoff. It was a lot of work, I know that.